Welcome to Happy Baby Milestone Channel. Thank you for being with us the past weeks. Raji is growing physically and mentally. At this age, parents worry about their child's food, sleeping hours, their weights, heights and their daily activities very much. In this video, we are going to see Raji's developmental milestones of this week. Specially 1. 7 different developmental milestones you can notice on them. 2. 7 care tips you should consider. 3. 4 games and activities they can perform. 4. 3 times you should consult a doctor. Each video contains the real weekly activity of Raji and scientific facts from different sources. Believe me you and your child will be benefited from each video. Be our family and don't forget to subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to watch every milestones of a baby week by week. Let's go! A 41-week-old baby's developmental milestones. Below are some 41-week-old baby milestones that you can watch out for in your baby. 1. Your baby will be able to stand while holding onto something or someone. 2. Your baby will be able to participate in peekaboo games. 3. Your baby will be able to say, Mama, and Papa. 4. Your baby will be able to push up into a standing position from sitting. 5. Your baby may be able to have an exchange of gestures with you back and forth. 6. Your baby will start to mimic your behavior and actions. 7. Your baby will be more creative and may understand how to get what he wants using tools. For example, if he can't reach a ball, he might try to use something long to try and move it toward him. Feeding. Most babies at 41 weeks may refuse solid foods that they previously enjoyed, like purees or if you practice baby-led weaning. This is an important time to introduce your baby to a variety of foods, but you will see him going for limited choices. Though this might make you think that he is not meeting his nutritional needs, but you need not worry for the first 12 months as breast milk or formula feeding will be more than enough to supplement his nutrition. Try to go with your baby's food choices as otherwise, he might scream a lot. Allow him to choose from a range of options and let him eat how much he wants without worrying about recommended servings. Refusing food can also result from teething pain, so offering soft, cold, and mashed foods will provide him with some relief. Frozen watermelon is great for teething pain, apart from that, you can also try out soft pieces of fish or chicken. Find out what he is comfortable with and then give him that. Sleeping. At 41 weeks, your baby will exhibit fussiness during his sleep time. During this period, he may experience disturbed and unsettled nights due to a variety of factors like teething discomfort. Although his distress might trouble you, stay away from using gels or medication to ease his pain. The symptoms of teething include biting, drooling, rubbing ears, facial rash, wakefulness, less appetite, and mild fever. The symptoms that are not directly related to tooth eruption include disturbed sleep, loose stool, coughing, blocked nose, body rashes, vomiting and fever. If you are not sure why your baby has these symptoms, you can check once with your pediatrician. A 41-week-old baby's care tips. Here are a few tips for caring for a 41-week-old baby. 1. The best way to promote your baby's development is communication. Give names to the objects your baby points, or you point out objects to him telling him the name so that he learns. Ask him daily about the same objects, this way, he will be able to remember those names. 2. Do not baby talk with your little one. Talk and reply to your baby using proper words and sentences, it will help in his development. 3. Tell your baby what you are doing while doing it. For example, while placing him in a stroller to take him to a park, tell him, I'm buckling you in so that you feel comfortable and now we're off to the park. 4. Sing nursery rhymes to your baby and use words with associated actions so that he remembers actions that go with the key phrases and words. 5. Read to your baby often and point out pictures in books along with a description of each so that your baby can identify objects, people, and animals by name. 6. Get your baby some push and walk toys so that she can move around without assistance safely until he starts to walk on his own. 7. Establish a regular pre-bedtime routine involving hugging, a little massage and some gentle rocking to help your baby relax before sleep. Games and activities. You can play the following games with your 41-week-old baby. 1. First step game. Sit across from another person and encourage your baby to walk between the two of you. If he doesn't walk as of now, let him crawl, or make him walk holding onto something. This will encourage your baby to develop his core muscles and practice the motion of walking. 2. Peekaboo. 
Your baby will now be able to play peekaboo along with you and will respond actively to this game. 3. Dance and sing. Put on some music, stand your baby up and dance a few moves with him. Babies love to sway to music at this stage 4. Hide and seek. You can also start playing hide and seek with your baby. However, make sure not to leave him alone for more than a minute. When to consult a doctor. You can consult your doctor for the following three reasons. 1. If your baby experiences sleep apnea at this stage. This is a disorder where he might stop breathing in his sleep either temporarily or repeatedly. The culprit may be allergies, a cleft palate, illness, adenoids, enlarged tonsils or a nervous system which is not fully developed. A baby with sleep apnea may cough, gasp, have trouble breathing and sweat copiously during sleep. He may also wake up multiple times at night. If you notice these signs, consult your baby's pediatrician. 2. If you see that teething is not the reason for your baby's sleeplessness at night, and if your baby also shows symptoms like loose stool, fever, body rash and vomiting, consult a doctor. 3. Keep track of your 41-week-old baby's development. The most you will notice is sleep disruption at this stage along with an increased tendency to babble while your baby learns to form words and remember them. Though having proper conversations with your baby might seem silly, it is a great way to help babies develop their language skills. You will also find it cute when your little one tries to mimic whatever you do, so enjoy this phase with him. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have something to say in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe.